Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, uh, had a bit of a, a long day yesterday. Out to see some friends and uh, a bit of a, a bit of a shop around. I uh, just want to say a big thanks to John Cullen, Raymond Duffy, uh, David Gillam, and especially Abercorn Nursery for all of this um, stuff that I bought yesterday. Um, so I've got a load of tubers here from um, Dave Gillam. Some over there from Raymond and these ones from uh, John Cullen. Need all trimming up and stuff like that. So I'm going to take you through it and because obviously I've done all these ones. Um, and I'll take you through how to set these up. Um, you've probably seen it on previous videos and stuff. But I'll show you the way that I do it. Um, so these varieties are not for show. Uh, these are, there is a, there's a show variety in here. It's called Poo. Uh, it's actually a collarette, um, but my girlfriend just wanted it for the garden. Uh, so what we've got here, these are dwarf dahlias. Uh, you just keep pinching them out and they just keep coming. There's, I've got three packets of them, um, but they're a nice one. Um, I've got Dracula. Um, I think this used to be called Pulp Fiction. Um, it's another dwarf dahlia, um, but I think that they changed the name, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, Bishop of Langdorf. Um not quite sure on that, it looks like a Dwarf Dahlia, but we shall see. Um, no idea, the girlfriend liked it, so she wants it in the garden. Uh, got some Glads, Gladioli, uh, they won't be planted out yet, they'll be planted out sort of later, later, April time for, it says for them. Uh, another Dwarf one, Sunshine. Um, yeah, we'll give that a try. And then she liked this one as well, which is Tater Sunrise. Um, yeah, it, it's not a show variety, obviously. But we shall give it a go. Uh, these are basically they're just little pot tubers, basically. Like, probably bigger pot tubers. But I'll, I'll show you how I set all them off as well. Um, I just put them into one litre pots. Because um, they're, not, they're not big tubers. Uh, obviously, I've got some of them are, are smaller than others. Um, some of them are larger than others. So, like this one's quite, quite a large one. See, compared to this one, you can see the sizes. See, they're much bigger. So, yeah, they'll be set off in one liter pots. Um, things I've got to try and deal with is like this. That's a very big tuber. Big stems. Um, I think that one's uh, Cream Diane, because my creams over there are not that great. Um, I'll, sh I'll take you through all of these in a minute, but there's no sort of changes to them. Um, so what we'll do is we're, I've got to try and do this one-handed, so it's going to be kind of, uh, kind of hard, but we'll give it a try. Um, mushroom trays, pick these up from a lot of the grocery places. Um, I use uh, just normal newspaper. I just fold the, fold the sheet in half, sort of lay it, you know, lay it out like this. I just put it just over the top, and then just pinch it over. Tuck it in like that. And that's one side. So it has one on the back, one down the side, and then one on this side. So it just adds sort of like a thermal sort of layer to it if you like it's hard to do one-handed sort of like that as you can see it's taking shape now and then uh, oh, very hard to do one-handed so bend it over so that's that and then you've just got the one on the other side to do. So basically four bits of newspaper folded in half go into this to... I don't want all the soil escaping through the sides, you see, because I fill these trays up quite a lot, quite, well, quite high. Um, so basically like that. So... And then what I do is I'm using uh, this Clover Professional. Um, I've got some other rubbish stuff hanging about, but... I just use use the best stuff. I've got I bought 23 bags of it, so uh, 
I've got plenty of it. Um, I use a big, I think it's a two litre pot, and then just scoop it out. Like that, chuck it in. I usually put about three of these in. Just pile it up into the corners, like that. Because that's pretty much where you sit the dahlias first, in the corners. Well, that's what I do anyway. Um, probably another pot in there. And one here, look. So like that. Tuck it up into the corner. One up into this corner. Don't worry about it being sort of like that because you're going to you're going to fill it up again in a minute anyway um so what i'm going to do is i've got to start trimming up these tubers now to go in um i'll probably start with the cream dianes i think there's three of them to contend with um so give us a minute and i'll be back to you right so here we got that's the cream diane so all you're going to do is see these spindly roots. They're not really any good to no one. A pair of scissors. Just trim them off. They're not, they don't do any purpose. There's no purpose in them whatsoever. And you can see all this mud that's all around here. We're just going to give that a scrape off, just to try and reveal the crown a little bit more. Um, just a nice gentle scrape, really. You don't want to be digging hard with it. Shake. Just try and reveal what we can. Right. As you can see, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? You can see what you're doing now. So this stem, obviously, this doesn't benefit anyone really. So we need to sort of try and chop it. Small secateurs. We need some big ones really for this, but little by little, we'll get for it. And that's it, it's off it goes. So that lot is no good. Bin that. You can see it's quite it's quite hard. Stems nice and hard. That's a lovely tube of that. And this is cream Diane from John Cullen. So that's that's one. We just put it over in the tray, ready to settle in. So this is another one. Um, obviously you see that is not benefiting no one so we just chop that off and that one right so you can see how dirty and clumpy it is we need to sort of try and reveal with a little bit more. So we'll give it a little bit of a scrape again. A lot of tubers are different from the other ones. Some big, some small, some real spindly, some not so spindly. If I, if I was to have a tuber that's not got these, these big tubers on it, and they're just basically just, I think, uh, just spindly ones, like this one you know it's only got some little tubers on it and a big one there if it didn't have them i would just trim these up not trim them right back but this one as i don't know if you can see that see these this is this is an eye so that is ready to shoot out and uh give me a cut in but this is uh this is aggie white so we'll do that one in a bit um, let's get back to cleaning this. Right. Well, 
Well, let me get back to clean this and I'll, uh, I'll come back. To it. That's it cleaned up. So what we're left with is this big shoot here, which is uh, an under, when you plant them deep, this is what we call a, a basal shoot. It comes from underneath. This would probably have a lot more power in the flower than the rest of them that would come off. Ones from underneath are a lot better, but trying to get them, you have to be brave and chop them all down and we're not. So we trim this off. And that, that has no benefit at all. And then we're gonna leave a bit of a stem on it again. So we're gonna chop it, I don't know if you can see, we're gonna chop it about there. No benefit, chuck it away. So then we're left with that, which is, you can work with that a lot more better in the tray than you can as it, as, it, as it was. I don't know if you can see, just on the end of my finger there, there's another shoot. So that isn't too bad, I'll chop that root off there. So we've got another one there. I've, I've only got three of these tubers. So setting these tubers up into a mushroom tray is, they're quite easy uh, for three. If you've got five, Depending on the size, you can roughly get around five in a tray. If they're a lot smaller, you can get more. Um, but I'll just go and trim the last one up and then I'll show you setting them in. So one thing is, another thing is, see this tube has been chopped in half from digging it out of the ground. Um, you know, it just leaves that, which is quite exposed to mold and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dust it with some yellow sulfur. Um, just like that, and then that's uh, that's ready for planting. Right, so we're back to the tray. As you can see, I've got all the tubers here now. Um, I always put the little ones in the last. I always try and get the biggest one in first, um, just because you've got to do a lot of moving around and stuff like that. Some might need to be cut off, some might not, you know. Um, so, a bit of compost underneath it. You're not, you're not trying to firm it in, you know. You need, um, you need them to start shedding some roots out. You know, just tuck them in like you tuck it into bed or whatever, you know. Get it up in there, nice tucked in. Need some more compost. So, if we It's just trying to get them to fit nice. So that fits lovely there, look, and it leaves me with a bit of room here so that I can get this one in here like that. But it's if you leave it down, it's facing there, so you need to get the compost up underneath it. That then will hold it in place. It don't matter if these are showing above it, we need to see the crown. So just start filling the pot. Chuck a bit in here because we're going to need it. Right. Yeah, I didn't do a video yesterday because there's not really much to see. There's no plants out, flowers out, or anything like that. So it was just a, a social visit. Um, bit in this corner. I don't. You can see a bit of perlite in the, in this corner here. That's just what I've left over in this. This is my potting tray. Um, I don't put no perlite or anything in 
in this tray. Usually I might put a bit of grow more in the bottom just for them to have a little bit of a feed on later on. Um, but I'm going to top feed these. Um, probably with some ni high nitrogen or something later on. Um, yeah, or a bit of balanced maybe. Uh, so, last one. Just snugs in there like that. Bit of compost around it, tuck it in. lumpy this compost but it's all right so yeah just nicely firm around you're not trying to squish them in or nothing so that's that that's all three settled in you know they're quite firm in there they're not rammed in um, main thing is don't forget your labels I just tuck the three at the back I know they're all I know that they're all cream Diane because I put only one variety in a tray uh, I try not to mix up because later on you <clears throat> you could end up mixing up and stuff like that and when you think you're planting cream Diane you could be planting Kenora Challenger um, which doesn't really bode well to it you know um, it's a bit there I've missed. There we go. Um, so that's that um, I'm just going to crack on and uh, do the rest, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you with some a little tour round. Right, we've done all the pa all the uh, big tubers and that now. A lot of them are sort of awake. You can see eyes come in as as an eye down. Oh, sorry, there's an eye down there. Um, some of these are really awake. Uh, there was one that had a massive clump of. Uh, loads of little shoots coming off so that's great uh, I've had to mix up this big tray I know I said about not mixing them up but because uh, of the size of the tubers and there's three different varieties um, I didn't want three separate trays so I put them into one of these big trays uh, the tubers are absolutely massive there's uh, two Bryn, Bryn Turfle in there there's an uh, Alvis and Hamari Gold uh, this tray here we've got Louis White, four tubers. Um, this one here is Blight and Softer Gleam, uh, which I'm going to be growing. Next one there is Aggie White. Uh, the one at the back is Ben Houston. Um, one at the back is Cream Diane. The next one is the, uh, the this one's Cream Diane as well. Uh, what I got from John Cullen. Uh, Tracy's Diane, which is there's one tuber awake at the moment. Uh, Mary's, um, that is Wynn Holm, but nothing seems to be sort of coming out of that yet. Well, none of them are really awake, apart from a couple. Uh, one at the back is uh, Challenger. One of them is a little shoot just at the front here, as you can see. Uh, and we've got Skirmsdale Jane on the back there. Oakwood Goldcrest. Uh, Westerton Harry. Uh, Rycroft Porcelain, two tubers, and the front one's a Happet Diane. Uh, then we've got Alpen Bill, which have uh, got some good shoots coming on them. And Marston George over the back. Um, in the pots, like we said before, is Pink Mayor's Ronda. They're not awake yet. That one there's Clates Candy. Uh, and then we've got the Brave Heart, which is the uh, Dwarf Dahlia Garden one. So they've all had a real good water in. Um, they all are pretty sound. Um, hopefully they get going pretty quick. Um, just a quick little tip when you're watering them, watering them in, give them a real good drink because when if you're just watering, you're only watering like the first half inch of the tray. But if you look at the size of the tray, you know that's what three, four, that's four inches. You might even be all water in an inch, so you just, you've got the rest of the tray. So have it, give it a good soak through, um, and go from there. Right, um, I did buy some of this stuff, which is they're just clay granules, clay balls basically. Um, helps absorb water slowly and stuff. Uh, they're for me uh, giant onions. Um, 
which are not shooting very well at the moment. I've only got, uh, I think there's only one in there, which is there. I've only had one germinate. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, the germination on the Michael Bradleys are, you know, they're excellent. Uh, there's plenty there. Um, hopefully with a bit of luck, we shall be uh, getting them potted up today, hopefully. We shall see though. Um, I brought some uh, this stuff here, which is potting grit. Uh, I'm going to add it to my uh, my mix with the. Um, so what I do is I do sort of 50/50 perlite with the clover compost, and then I'm going to add um, about 10% of the grit into it as well, just for uh, the cutting mix. Um, just to add a little bit more aeration for them and hopefully that they can uh, get rooted a little bit better. Willing to try anything really. Um, once the cutting start getting on, I will use Eco Thrive Charge uh, onto the, you know, once you, I won't use it in the cutting, when you're putting the cuttings in, um, but once I've potted on, they will get, get a dose of that as well. So yeah, uh, we've got quite a few, uh, quite full up now. I've only got this little section here now, which is not what I wanted. I wanted half of it for cuttings really, but um, we shall see. I mean, if these, these front ones uh, of Cream Diane far away first before the back ones, then I shall probably move the back ones up to give me a little bit more room. Because um, I'm probably only going to get maybe a couple of hundred cuttings on the end of that there, which... Uh, yeah so all's well ends well a nice little cut in there coming off of tracy diane i'm gonna let it get a bit uh, a lot bigger it's, it's very early to take cuttings um so i'll let them get bigger and then um i'll just pinch the top i'll take the top out as a cutting and then let the side shoots come on that um but yeah right let's get potting up these um Sorry, that's leak. Air, air thing's leaking. Um, yeah, I'll get potting up these uh, these packet ones now, and uh, we should go get that sorted. <laughs> 